So this is my uh, air compressor for the shop here. And um, I've got a little air station set up there. I've got a air filter and a desiccant trap. And then off of that, I just uh, use an air hose. My uh, shop's only 26 feet long, so basically the hose reaches anywhere here. Um, someday, someday down the road, I might uh, hard pipe uh, some air lines, but for now, it's not really a, a bother or a necessity. Uh, but what is a problem, though, is I'm getting a lot of uh, condensation buildup in the uh, compressor tank. Uh, I just come out and drain it periodically, manually, but uh, as it starts to get warmer here in the summertime, uh, the humidity picks up and uh, get a lot more water forming in the tank. So what I've decided to do is uh, put a drain with a remote control on it. Um, I'm kind of plumbed up on the bottom. I've got a valve there and I just uh, attach a hose to it and uh, manually drain it whenever, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to uh, plumb it out through the side of the shop there and I've got uh, some drain rock and stuff already on the other side. It'll just uh, vent into that. So these are the, uh, the main components for the automatic drain uh, setup I'm going to do. Um, this is a uh, digital time clock. Um, they're pretty reasonably priced. They're, uh, they're under $100. Uh, I was going to use a programmable relay, but this is actually simpler and uh, you know, easier to make changes. The uh, programmable relays, you need uh, software and uh, tie it in with a USB card. So this is a little more straightforward. And this one here, it's got a, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyhow, this is the, it'll take up seven programs and then uh, you can program per day. So basically what I'm doing here is going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be one uh, event per day. Well, actually, it won't even be, uh, be just one event. And then I'll probably um, do it every other day, vent the tank for uh, two minutes or something like that. Then I'll just uh, see if it uh, how that controls the condensation, and then if I need to do it every day, I'll just change the program to that, or uh, just increase the duration from one minute to two minutes, something like that. So, like I say, that's a uh, very basic, readily available electronic timer. So then, the other main component is the uh, solenoid valve. This is an ASCO uh, Red Hat. It's a pretty commonly used uh, solenoid valve. Um, the uh, the top end here, the coil is replaceable and everything. I'm not sure what the coils are worth to replace, but I think the whole valve. I forget what I paid for this one, uh, but I think if you go on eBay or something like that, they're around a couple hundred bucks. Uh, I think this is quarter inch NPT. I can't remember. But, uh, so I'm going to. Uh, plumb that in and then the uh, obviously the time clock will uh, control that and uh, so I've just got the main components here I've had these for a while this time got around to doing it so I just got to round up uh, some pipe and stuff and uh, hopefully get that done by the end of the week um, this is a 120 volt uh, coil on this guy and uh, the clock will do uh, 120 or 240 um, just a matter of setting the dip switch on it. So, kind of get that wired in, get that plumbed in, and uh, that'll be the next uh, next uh, clip on this is uh, putting it together. So, I've been working on this a little bit more. Uh, I've got the uh, time clock mounted, I've got the um, solenoid mounted, did some uh, piping. Using uh, heavy wall copper tubing, solder joints, uh, should work out good for this. I mounted the solenoid uh, up here nice and high, just in case you got to do uh, anything to it, change the coil or anything. You're not uh, trying to do it down on the ground. Um, drill the hole through the wall. I've got it uh, to the outside. I just have to 90 it down into the uh, drain rock next. Uh, brought the power over from an adjacent receptacle. So, might get this finished up tonight and uh, give her a try. So, I got it all wired in and uh, plumbed in. Got the drain finished to the outside. Um, 
Seems to work pretty good. Don't have any uh, leaks in the uh, solder joints. Um, so that's great. Um, just pick up a couple of clips tomorrow at work for that armored cable and clip them to the uh, strut. And then I'll finish that off. Got it set to come on uh, four times a week for a minute. Well, I'll try that out and uh, see if that keeps the tank drained. If not, I'll just uh, bump it up to two minutes or something. So that's it.